Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 14, Hands-On Science Experiments. So we've got two experiments today from our Van Cleve, page 47. We're going to be doing number 83, not at the same time, and number 84, dry paper. Uh, I'm not going to do a demonstration today, but I will discuss the experiments and... Um, just some explanation of what we're doing. So I'll start with number 83, not at the same time. You're going to have a plastic cup, a clear plastic cup, about half full with water, and you're gonna use a piece of masking tape or mark it in some way um, to where you know where the level of the water is. And then you're gonna take some marbles and it says six marbles. You could experiment and try different numbers of marbles, or you could see um, how many marbles you have to add till you start seeing something change. Um, but you're gonna slowly add the marbles to your cup of water. And being careful, the, the Van Cleef's Guide says to kind of tilt the cup and kind of slide the marbles down the side. You can do that, or just be careful to not splash any water out when you're putting the marbles in. We just want to make sure we don't lose any water. Um, but then we're going to observe what happens. And what you're going to notice is that the level of the water uh, rises. And we're going to ask um, our question, okay, why? Why does that happen? So I like to use, again, um, Nicole Liam's science scripts from CC Connected. You can find them in the sandbox e-zine for each week on CC Connected. They're usually around page 20, I think. Um, but she's got some good questions. So, we talked a little bit about molecules last for week 13. And um, we're learning about matter and what what are some of the characteristics of matter? So matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. And so, for example, in our um, experiment here, the water obviously takes up space and these marbles obviously take up space. And so one of the things we're learning today is that um, matter, two pieces of matter cannot occupy the same space at the same time. So what is happening is there's molecules of water and that has a mass and these marbles also have a mass. And so when the marbles are put into or added to the cup, they're pushing those water molecules out of the way. They're denser, they're heavier, they're gonna fall to the bottom. But the water molecules don't don't leave the cup. They're just kind of pushed out of the way, they're pushed farther up as the marbles sink down. So that is one of the um, I guess science laws that we're, we're learning about today. Um, as chemists, so this these six weeks we're, we're um, acting as chemists, so they measure and observe the properties of each type of atom. And so if you have an example, I think I got this from CC Connected a long time ago, but you can find examples of the periodic table. And these are all the elements that scientists have discovered. And chemists, they figure out what are the properties of them. What, you know, there's physical properties like color or smell or when these things melt or freeze. And there's chemical properties like is it flammable or when does it become flammable? Um, do, how do they react? Um, a lot of these things you can combine in different ways and they'll react. Think about... Um, baking soda and vinegar, there's a reaction there, there's bubbles, things change. Um, so chemists have, when they discover these, these scientists, they organize them um, by their properties. So it may not look like it makes a lot of sense, but a lot of these um, elements are grouped because they, grouped together because they have similar properties. So we'll be learning more and um, more about the periodic table in new grammar as we go along um, but that is one of the things we're learning about in number 83 is that um, two pieces of matter cannot 
occupy the same space at the same time. And so that's a good way to visualize it with the water in the marbles. Um, if you have time, you might look up this story of Archimedes and the, the Greek king, who's the Greek king? The king of Sicily, I'm sorry. So I, I don't, if you have the cornerstone uh, science documents, this is where I've found this story, but I'm sure you could look it up online. But there's a story where the king of Sicily had this crown made of gold, he was supposed, but um, he suspects that it might not be pure gold. So he asks Archimedes to figure out for him if this crown is made of pure gold. And so Archimedes, um, there's a story of him getting in the bathtub and noticing that the water spills out of the bathtub and he kind of went eureka and at that point realized that okay because he was getting in the water that the water level couldn't stay the same the water level changed when he got in the bathtub and so he used this idea to come up with an experiment and so he took some water two two containers of water and put something of pure gold in it and something of pure silver and he noticed that um, they displaced different amounts of water. And so he was able to take the king's crown and place it in the water. And um, by the amount of water that was displaced, was able to determine uh, that the crown was not pure gold. So that is kind of just an interesting story. If you have time, um, that goes along with, with our experiment today. So... Um, I'll jump on to number 84, the dry paper. So you're going to have um, another clear plastic cup and some paper towels and a bucket with water in it. And you want to make sure that you could um, submerge your cup under the water of the bucket. And so um, Nicole also has a script for this one. So some questions you can ask. Um, well, I'll walk through the experiment first. So you're going to put the paper towel in the bottom of the plastic cup. And then you're going to turn it over. If you need to put some tape in the bottom of the cup to hold the paper towel in, you can. But then you're going to submerge, turn it over, and submerge it under the bucket, un under the water in the bucket. And be very careful not to tilt the cup in any way you want to just put it straight down into the water you don't want to let any air bubbles escape because the idea is we want to trap the air inside and so what you're going to find is when you take that cup back out bring it straight back out that the paper towel inside will be dry and so but we put it completely under the water so why is it dry and just like we learned in the last experiment um two objects cannot exist in the same place at the same time. So what is inside this plastic cup? There's a paper towel and there's also what? There's air. And we learned that air has molecules. And so when you put that down in the water, that those air molecules are trapped. They, they have nowhere to go. And so those keep the water, those take up space and those keep the water molecules from filling up the cup because they're, they're trapped inside the cup. So it's just another example of how to visualize that the things around us, they take up space and they can't um, occupy the same space at the same time. Now, if you get the question or have um, the thought, okay, well, in week 13, we had a cup of water and a cup of uh, rubbing alcohol. And when we combine them, it kind of look like that they did occupy the same space. But remember, we talked about those spaces between the water molecules. They have that bond, that hydrogen bond that leaves those pockets in between the water molecules. And so the, the alcohol molecules were actually filling those spaces between. So they weren't um, occupying the same space at the same time. It's just there were pockets of air there. So if you get that question or have that question, um, that's a different concept than um, what we're talking about here, but it doesn't um, go against it. 
So, um, what other question? What some questions you can ask are: What is air made of, um, and how does it take up space? Um, is air a solid, a liquid, or a gas? You can start discussing about those different states of matter. Um, so just talk about your observations and talk about, um, just reinforce that concept that, that two things cannot occupy the same space at the same time because of the matter that, that is in them. So this is a fun one to experiment. And um, so that's week 14, cycle three, and I'll see you guys soon.